Hey everybody, I'm Blitz. Welcome back to more 60 seconds. Would that be welcoming back to... Welcome back to 60... That doesn't really make sense. Because it's like 60 seconds this time. Welcome back to time. Welcome back to a minute. So, uh, you guys have been really enjoying this game. A uh, lot more than I thought was going to happen, which is kind of kind of strange. I thought it was going to be like a quick pass over and you guys would forget about it, but... Uh, it is what it is. We'll continue going. I'm going to try to do one more. Uh, I've been playing off camera some. And I can't seem to get all the way to the end of the game, and it gets really repetitive for me. So I'm going to play one more all the way through and see what we can do. The scavenging and the survival. The scavenging, we'll try the scavenge out here. Maybe we can just do little boy uh, to begin with. The scavenging, all this is, is the first 60 seconds is practice. It's practice hour. So it's like the the nuke drill. Okay, so where is the exit? Exit's at the end down there. We have the gun, we have the water, that's all that's in here. Don't really need to come this way. Looks like deck of cards and water here. There's little Timmy, gas mask, mama. There's a radio. And I guess we'll start in here. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. Oh, the flashlight is up there. Flashlight would be a good thing to grab. Okay, and this, this is just practices. Kids got their toys all over the place. Run out, grab the little Timmy. Go, Timmy, go. Little uh, toy, drop him down. Okay. Grab some food. We really don't need too much of this. I guess what you guys were saying too is I was overfeeding our guys. Oh, this one right here. That one's a tough one to get. We'll grab uh, Mary Jane. Throw you in. Let's grab the med kit. And there's something right inside of here. A lot of food. Um, let's grab the water. Oh, shoot. So far, so good. This is working well. We'll grab the map on the wall. What do we have up here? There's the gun. Whoop. Grab that and grab the water. Okay, we need to get Mama. Let's go grab her really fast. There's the... Uh-oh, where is she? She's in here. Grab that really quick. Go, go, go. Maybe I should grab the radio. Do I have time to grab the radio? Do I have time to grab the radio? I might. No, I don't. Get back in there. Ugh. If you don't make it, you die. Like, do not pass go. Do not click $200. And then it just says soup. And it's a loading screen. And then it says, you survived. Basically. We did pretty good. Yep, congratulations, you survived. That's a really cool screen. Huh. Safe for now. All right. So we're going to try that again. And the survival, the, the third one over there, is basically the same thing over and over again. So what we're going to do is we're going to jump in, and we're going to do a new game. We're going to try this apocalypse again. And the apocalypse, what I'm going to do is cut it in half relatively uh, where I cut it last time. We're going to do the little boy because it doesn't seem to matter too much for the long run of the game. Seems like everything is pretty much set in place, set in stone of what happens. Not really when, but there really aren't that many events. Okay, Timmy and an axe. That's actually a decent spot to start. What's that over there? Food? We don't need to go in there. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, we should go back there. We'll have to go back there anyway. Um, checkerboard, there's water. And the gas mask is in little Timmy's room. Where is, that's the entrance right there. There's the gun. We're we'll grab mom, water. Let's grab mom and the gun. Okay. That is enough for the first trip. Let's go grab her. And let's grab the med kit. Can't. Let's grab the bug, bug spray. Okay. It's a decent start. Now we'll grab Timmy and the axe. And then we're going to get all the food we can get. There's more water under the tub. Okay, halfway there. We're doing all right. Let's grab this. Grab that. And grab the water. And we'll pick up one of these. Take them in. I don't really see anything else. Man, this is a good start. Oh, we need to get the... Oh, that's only one, too. Good. Oh, good. We got the... Oh, wow. I thought the... I thought the radio was two for sure. Okay, do I have all the kids? Do I have all the kids? I think so. Grab the med kit really fast. I don't know if I have any water. Uh-oh. No! Well, sorry. We just up and died. <laughs> Shoot. Well, that was a really good way to go. The end. You let your family live with two cans of water and one can of soup and bug spray. That's going to be awesome. Okay. That was a practice round. <laughs> Congratulations, you got nuked. <sighs> 
Okay, we'll try that one more time and then we'll be good. We're gonna get it. Maybe not go for all of the side items and get more food and water. That might be a better idea. The 60 seconds really creeps up on you. And then you, you got like that three seconds left and you think you can go out and get another another adventure, then you really can't and you get nuked. Okay. Ooh, that's a decent right there. There's a lot of stuff over here. Maybe we'll start right here. So I can grab these two and the axe and then maybe that water. That's a decent start. What do we have in that room? A lot of water and food. That makes sense since it's the kitchen. Okay, yeah, we're gonna start at the farthest part away from the, the nuke shelter. Got it? Yes, it's exactly what I thought. Okay, next up we'll grab her. Might as well just plop her in. Grab the water. Got it. Get mom and the map and the food. Map. Okay, there's the Boy Scout book and the other stuff right here. Let's do that too. Okay, we're good. Um, Grab Timmy. Get out of my face! Can't tell what was on the bed there. Okay, we're half done. Uh, gun, gas mask, and flashlight. Yeah, that works. To the shelter. Did we get the daughter? I don't remember. Okay, we need food and water now. Oh, wow. Water. Okay. And water. To the shelter. Uh-oh, we don't have enough food. I can't really go anywhere else. Great. Let's see how we did. We got a lot of the side items yet. <sighs> we'll see how it goes. I don't quite remember. It's so panicky. You can do so much. Did make... Oh, we got four and four. That should last us 20 days. Right? Four, five, five days. 20 days. Because there's four uses per. We have four people. We, get, we got a lot of good stuff. Look at we're, we're right about here on the map. And we need to go over here to get the stuff. And then we have the lights can flicker too. And you can squish the fly. Now. Okay. What do we got? Day one. All of us made it into the shelter. Just a second before the blast. That was a close one. As long as we're all together. No, it wasn't. We had plenty of time to spare. We can make it work down here. We remember hearing canned soup is healthy for you. Our shelves are full of cans. We'll eat from cans. We'll sleep in cans. We'll even talk to cans. Probably some of us already do. Plenty of water means we don't have to worry about that for some time. This is the best stock shelter we've ever seen. We've never seen another one, but we're sure. It's a good amount of supplies. Okay. We don't need to give anyone anything. It's tough surviving in these conditions. Let's hope it'll be over soon or else. Good thing we have the radio. I feel like the radio is one of the most important items, but I don't actually know. Okay, day two. Or else we might end up much worse than this cozy shelter. Mary Jane didn't cause any trouble. Timmy's okay. Dolores is calm. Not much going on with Ted. No need to ration. And we're going to send someone. Timmy is enthusiastic. Ooh, bug. Okay. Oh, wow. We had planned to go to Niagara Falls and see those beautiful waterfalls. We never expected to get a waterfall in our very own in our shelter. Right now, it seems a half dozen pipes burst. Uh, we need to save our supplies. Let's save the radio. So much for the map. That didn't last long. Yeah, it's torn up. Tattered map. Maybe we can repair it with the Boy Scout book. Oh, there's the fly again. I'm gonna get him. Where are you? He's hiding. The radio was rescued first before any of that filthy liquid got into his case. It won't be... It wasn't long before most of the water disappeared, but the damage it done was enough to upset us. Cleaning and fixing this mess will take us days. What's that smell? Okay, drink for Mary Jane. You guys said I can wait another day on this. Um, we'll try that, I guess. They need water. Let's see what happens. Let's not give him water. We'll wait another day. And Timmy's gonna go. Because he was enthusiastic about his trip. Okay, I heard him leave. They're still alive. That means I can give them water now. We saved one little water nugget. Water drink, water to water, water. Water, water everywhere. What would we give to be able to enjoy sunshine again? We can't say there's a lot of light underground. We don't expect to get it any brighter down here. Okay, whatever. Easy day, nothing bad happened. 
day five is upon us. Do we have do we have to take care of ourselves or will someone come to our rescue? Isn't worried. Doris is fine. Ted's doing well, no need to food him. We heard something about a supply drop on the radio. Just might be what we need to survive. And it's supposed to happen near our house. Shall we go out and really happening? We could, but we don't have that mask because Timmy brought it. Day six. Okay, let's see. It was too dangerous to go out there without any protection. So we decided to stay indoors and listen to the radio. The static is so relaxing. It's always better when things are calm. Luckily, nothing new happened. Quite calm, quite calm, he's doing well. We're pretty sure the place we want to go is in the middle of a big hole on our map. Ah, we can repair the map with the Boy Scout book. Doesn't make much sense. I guess that's the repair all item. Day seven. Good news, we got ourselves a map we can use. The question is, can anyone read it properly? Well, we have a Boy Scout book to teach us. Yeah, drink, drink, and drink. We're gonna skip it for today. We'll give it to him tomorrow. Oh dear, we just remembered we planned on taking a trip south in two months. It was still there. We're going, right? We're pretty sure we don't. They don't bomb warm places. Oh, that makes sense. Please don't die on me. Please don't die. Yeah, they ain't dead yet. I didn't grab the med kit either. Relocation. Discuss after we get out of here. They're thirsty. Whoop, a whoop, and a whoop. Little Timmy needs to bring back water. That radio has been silent for the past few hours. We need news. We need our music. We all agree that if it is refusing to cooperate, we need to meddle with it until it works. Negative. We're not doing that. It works. It ain't broken. And I know, I know Ted's fingers. He doesn't. He doesn't like. Uh, he doesn't understand it without that Boy Scout book. Ha. <sighs> We're sure they are experiencing technical issues. Yes, that's it. Everything will be just fine. Fine, Dolores is hungry. I guess we'll feed Dolores. I don't know how many days it takes in between those. Mary Jane has been dropping hints that it's a special day for her today. <laughs> we had to think hard about it, but after eliminating your average festivities, anniversary of that great barbecue we had three years ago, and an international popcorn day, we realized she was talking about her birthday. That means we don't have anything to give her. Sorry. Day 10. Timmy's back. I don't see anything new. Or do I? Mary Jane is too old for birthdays, yes. We were so afraid for Timmy. But he is back from the wasteland and is safe with us. Uh, the hotel is in ruins. Tomato soup. One soup, one water. Was left in the rooms. Two figures playing chess. So we got the chess board. Okay. Gas mask was damaged. Mary Jane's diet could use food. Okay, food. Mary Jane and Timmy are hungry. Wait. Wow, that was a weird flash, too. Timmy is very hungry. Ted is hungry. Okay. Mary Jane, food. Timmy and Ted are hungry. Okay. We got this. Good. Ooh, Ted seems really good shape. Awesome. Dolores is in good shape. If we can send Mary Jane at any time, that'd be great. Wasteland is full of surprises like this man on the other side of the door, knocking and claiming that he is willing to offer a lot for decent ammunition. Shall we trade? I tried giving him that chessboard a few times in my practice play. Every time he just stole it, so I'm not going to give it to him. And I never had ammo. I never have had ammo in the game. It's too small of an item for me to see when running around. We could tell the stranger was disappointed, but it was none of our business. If ever there was a time we got used to life being disappointing, the end of the world is probably it. Uh, Mary Jane is hungry again. Okay. I'm gonna wait on water. They can wait a day on... Oh, Mary Jane wanted food? Nah, she can wait too. Alright, sitting around. Let's send Ted. He's gonna go outside into the wilderness when he has no food in his belly. That's convenient. Mary Jane is hungry and thirsty. Timmy's hungry. Dolores is hungry and thirsty. Okay. So Timmy is the only one not hungry. Everyone else is everything else. Shoot. We're going through our stuff pretty quick. 
We can sit, keep sitting on our backsides here in the tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as long as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could use it on our own escaping part. Not the ruining part, of course. However, there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our eyes and ears open. Stupid fly. I want to smush it. And it always disappears. And then we bring up the book and it's back. Okay. We made contact. Military is out there and they're coming for us. All we need to do is wait patiently. Soldier with the boring voice says is very specific about this. Help is on the way. We just need to wait for further instructions and keep our radio in working order. Uh, Timmy is hungry. Did we just feed him? We better feed him because I'm scared that... Um, I'm concerned that if you don't feed him, they'll get worn down faster. Hey, time we stopped wondering what's going on. Start asking questions. How about turning in a radio station and learning a thing or two about the brave new world? 14. Where's Ted? Able to get a weak signal. Tap into the government's emergency news. Great news. Follow the side is mostly gone. Should be safer to travel on the surface. Good thing Ted doesn't have that. Uh, they're fine. Fine. Everyone's fine. No need to ration supplies. So easy to escalate silly arguments in close quarters doesn't help. We were chatting and then suddenly we are fighting. We're fighting... Let's just hope we'll get over this soon. Okay. Someone's home. Nope. Someone's tired. We're done fighting, but for how long? Can we spare some water, Mary Jane? Uh, okay, we can skip a day for water. I hope. Timmy got back to the shelters from his expedition looked fine, but it turned out he had hurt his hand on a piece of rusty metal. And the wound was infected. Let's have to patch it up. We're gonna lose the axe. 100% sure we lose the axe. Yep, it's gone. Oh boy, that didn't do much. Usually that makes him better. Timmy was very brave about the idea of cleaning up his wound with a heated axe blade. It was a bit painful, but it was soon over. The axe is in no shape to be used, but oh, Timmy is better. Okay, food and water. Timmy got hurt. How did you get hurt, man? We had an axe. Okay, so everyone needs water, and Mary Jane needs a little food. She can wait. Oh, Daddy better come home. Uh, we didn't think we'd get a chance to increase our food supply by simply playing a card game. Oh, the gambler. The gambler is showing up. We aren't going to do it because we ain't got none cards. Come on. Oh, where is Ted? Ted. Gambling is a terrible idea. Okay, Mary Jane can get food. And then everyone else can wait a day. This is terrible, we can't sleep. The problem is sleeping over since we got down here, and now it's worse than ever. If we don't deal with this problem, we won't be able to cope with any other challenges that await us outside these thin shelter doors. They want sleeping pills. <gasps> Door opened, daddy's home, and someone's cuckoo like a bird. Wow. Ted has safely returned from his voyage. We got a can of soup. <laughs> Family would never visit a bar, unless it was the apocalypse. So they had one can of soup, one playing card. Jane went nuts. Timmy's hungry, Dolores is hungry, Ted is hungry. I'm gonna feed everyone, because I'm pretty sure she was hungry too. Okay. Oh, Ted is ready to go again. Um. Oh, Mary. <laughs> Mary Jane is feeling excellent. We'll send her, even though she's cuckoo. Patience is wearing thin. We thought it'd be a good idea to take a quick look outside and see if there's any trouble in the area. We were about to step out, and a pair of animal eyes flashed in the darkness, and their owner started growling in the most terrifying way. Let's flash him with the flashlight. These things get stunned at night with bright lights. Day 19. Okay, Mary Jane's gonna go on expedition. Decided to check, guess what? It was a dog! Poor thing seemed tired, so we let it stay with us for the night. The next morning we opened the door and let it out, and it still hasn't returned. Hopefully you'll come back later. Oh. Mary Jane is thirsty. Everyone's thirsty. Thirsty. Let's waterize everyone. 
Oh boy. And we're sending her out, even though she's cuckoo right now. She wasn't a very big fan favorite in the last series of the game. I'll put that much. There's a two-headed cow. Mary Jane left. We can't ignore Timmy's injuries. Yes, we can. Dolores and Ted are both hungry. Military transmitting again. They said the first step is to locate any remaining survivors. A plane will be doing a sweep over our neighborhood this evening. We're supposed to be out in the open signaling to, with a flashlight. Let's do that. Hopefully, fingers crossed, that it doesn't break. But I'm guessing it will. I'm guessing it'll break because I haven't seen much variation in the game. The thing was going as planned and the flashlight stopped working. Yep, Timmy's hungry. Timmy is not doing great. Should we? Yeah, let's talk to him and cheer him up. Please bring back a med kit. Please bring back a med kit. Please, please just come back. Even the word or two seem to be enough to brighten someone's moon. He's much better. He needs water, water, and water. We're in a way today. Gas mask has been badly worn out. Not protecting against anything. It hasn't done anything anyway. It's from my experience. I haven't figured out what it does. Okay, we did fix it. Timmy prefers apple juice. Water, water, water. This isn't going to be good. Mary Jane needs to bring back water. She needs to come back. Oh, scratching on the door can be one thing. Our friendly dog is back. We raced to open the door considering it might have been a mutated beast. But luck smiled on us. The furry fellows seem to be really tired and hungry. Ah, oh, let's feed him. I haven't actually seen that before. Given a whole can of food when we share it. Well, <laughs> there goes Timmy. Couldn't do anything about Timmy's wounds. We tried fixing him. And they got worse and worse eventually. He got fed up and left. All that remains of him is a note explaining his lousy parents. And he will be back when he becomes the warlord of the wasteland. I doubt that. The dog was back to his former self in under an hour. We don't know what the... <laughs> so, we alienated Timmy. And we got the dog back. We decided the dog needed a name. The dog's name was Pancake. Come here, Pancake. Who's a good boy? Pancake stayed around for a while, but was gone the next morning. We can bet he will be back. Dolores is hungry. She'll wait a day. Something's missing. Let's see. Fan hum, strange noises. Uh, Hella yells outside. Oh, Dolores hasn't spoken for a while now. That's it. It's really strange. Talking to her would be a good idea. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, she's not coming back. Oh, they're both hungry. Let's share a can of soup. One minute was fine, and the next minute we were all at each other's throats. How did this happen? This is insane. We need to get a grip on ourselves if we're going to survive. Let's just keep... Let's just sleep on it. Come on, Mary Jane, come home. This is the day where it says Mary Jane isn't coming home. Mary Jane was supposed to be back in a few days. It's been too long. We fear something has happened to her. <sighs> they're thirsty. They can last one more day. Oh yeah, we can do this. <laughs> she can make it. Woke up to a dripping sound. Notice there's something leaking from the pipes. Green liquid. Uh, patch it up with the thingy. Okay, so Ted's got to get the water. And Dolores has to go out on the adventure. Ted water, go. Dolores Adventure. This is really pushing it. This is like we're right on the teetering edge here. And now we just stare at the sick fatigue Ted. Dolores is on her way. Ted is fine. <laughs> he should just eat all of his food. We were afraid the army wouldn't get back to us, but they eventually did. The next transmission was fully evacuation promises, but it ended if. The speaker requested that any survivor groups armed with firearms could dispose of them. I guess we do it. Right to bear arms. Yeah, about that. So much for the gun. So the gun's not really worth picking up. We decided to follow military orders and get rid of the rifle. We did so with a heavy heart. But if the price to getting to safety, we'll pay it gladly. Doesn't mean we'll never get another one, though. Uh, he needs to wait another day for food. 
When we heard barking, we were at the door moments notice. We? It was Pancake. He had come back. He wasn't willing to enter. Instead, he seemed very anxious to lead us somewhere. Let's grab our map and head out. This is going to be interesting. I've not had the doggy chain before. Oh, he's got more food. Stupid dog couldn't have brought water back. Well prepared hiker always takes a map. That's what we always say. Thanks to our trusty, trusty Atlas, we are able to take a look at the devastation of our town and get back home, or rather back to our shelter, just in time for dinner. Pancake tagged along for a while, but left before we can get to the bunker. Before we got back, we were able to take a detour and get some cans locked in a car. Good thing we did some reading about car mechanics in the scout handbook. Ted is hungry, and Ted is thirsty. He earned that food. We discussed everything by himself. The silence is really disturbing. We should do something before we start talking to ourselves instead. Come on, Dolores, come home with water. Or your husband's gonna die. Ah, how fortunate we took the radio with us. Ted is really thirsty. I can give him more soup. It's not the best time or place to make plans for the future. Okay. The end. He died. Great. This is a hard game. World's best parents right here. Let's see if it says anything about Dolores. Ted has been sick for far too long. He's too weak to keep going. He passed away in his sleep. Maybe moving away won't be too bad. We can probably make new friends. Meet new people. Provided anyone is still alive, that is. It was stupid to leave the trap door open. Someone took advantage and moved in. An entire family we didn't even know took our place and told us to get out or they would call the cops. There's no one else here. If we didn't, I grasped how silly that sounded. But they were on the right side of the door and we weren't. Yikes. Ted's illness was too much in the end. Day 34, that wasn't near as far as last time. Huh. That's too bad. You were driven away. Hmm. Oh well. So guys, let me know if you want me to continue doing this. It does get a little bit repetitive. I, I may be able to play it for one or two more episodes and still enjoy it. I don't know if I can get much more enjoyment out of that. As you can see, some things start to repeat over and over again. Anyway, I hope you did enjoy. If you did, let me know. And keep your stick on the ice. We'll catch you next time.